she's so powerful and I think and believe that if Lempika was not a woman, she would be in the same category as Picasso. Hi, I'm Drita Kessler. Um, I'm a publisher and an agent, and in particular I publish The Art of Tamar Lempika. Her style was deliberately created and perfected to celebrate and to liberate the independence of a woman. But Lempika herself identified as a strong, almost androgynous woman, and that's one of the reasons uh, her image out of portrait is um, showing herself driving the most expensive car, Bugatti. If you view carefully Tamara de Lempika and the way her eyes stare back at you, it's very much like Mona Lisa's image, and, but Mona Lisa with the strength and independence of a modern day woman. So the beauty of her work is not only the work itself, but every image has a fantastic story that goes with it. Hers, each story was more exotic and erotic than the next one. Olympica herself was in the process of painting one of her favorite muses. The model decided to take a break and uh, took an apple from a bowl that Olympica was painting um, still life from. And Olympica saw her naked, of course, and said, hold off right there, don't move. Runs into the streets of Paris and gets a hold of this gorgeous police officer and asks, would you be willing to come to my studio so I can paint you? That's how Adam and Eve became the image that it is. Two of them had never met before, but they became lovers, and it's a really sweet, sweet story. And she's really known as a cubistic artist with a face, meaning like she softened the lines. Her style is cubism, but it also has a strong influence of Renaissance. Her colors are so vibrant, whether it's the blue, which is the femme bleu on the guitar, whether it's the Adam and Eve, which is a flesh tone and is so transparent. So it wasn't just about recreating her work. You had to deal with what it originally was, which was perfection. I would study the photographs of when they were first done. Then I'd study the original of what it was today. And then I would have to reinterpret it myself. In order to reinterpret it, you can't do that with a lithograph. It's just impossible, because you, you just have four colors. It was important to us that we do the creme de la creme of the process and that's as close to an original as you're going to get is by recreating the serography process. In fact, if you put the serographs next to the original, it's very, very hard to tell because each color is done by hand, each color is separated, and it lasts for generations where a lithograph will fade gradually. Um, most of them are under 200, which is a museum edition. They have the estate seal, they are accompanied with certificates of authenticity which are signed by the daughter who is the executor of the estate. And it also has seal of uh, DKR Publishing on it. And what's really fantastic is that in these exhibitions where they have the originals, they'll have a Lempica serograph that we produced. That's a great compliment to us. One of the most um, rewarding things for me is really educating people, educating the younger generation on who she is how powerful and instrumental she is to the women's movement so that they can pass it on, not only the artwork, but the history and the story of Tamara de Olympica.